Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Oh. Ten fathoms deep and a road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of- Oh, here you are. <laughs> Hi there! Today we're going to play um, The Supper by Octavi Navarro, who is one of my favorite uh, developers. And um, it's, a, it's a tiny little game. I think I saw a Let's Play by Mr. Craven once, but since I played um, all short games by Navarro in the last couple of weeks, I wanted to play this as well. Um, also because there's an upcoming longer game called Book Lies, and I wanted to get all in the Navarro feel. <laughs> so we're now playing uh, The Supper. I can't wait. It, the, the games always look, they, they're so gorgeous. And I know that this one is a little bit more um, on the sinister side. So that's good. I like that. Some of the content in this game might not be suitable for all ages. I'll say, but you'll see. So also, if you're young, you won't. Please, you know, divert your attention to a more kid-friendly video. As, um, it's this direction. As linked here. Okay, <laughs> let's start the game. It's a lot of ketchup. Wake up! <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mrs. Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time! Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Recipes du jour. Pigeon à la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon covered with a special sauce. Oh man, that's like being at the Greek restaurants we have. They all have special sauces. Spicy red swordfish. One blue swordfish tail. Add one chili pepper. Cover with special sauce. Hand and tongue stew. A plump human hand. Mmm, juicy. Add one slimy tongue. Mmm, slimy. Cover with special sauce. Mmm, special. Okay, that's the special sauce. Okay. Fire tongs. <coughs> Solid wax. Okay. Hmm. Empty pot. You can use that pot. Can we use the fire? Okay, yeah, put them. And I think then, put them in the solid... No? Huh. Oh. But we can use the... No? Wait, can we use the fire? No. <laughs> well... Let's take a look in the dining room then. Oh no, this is a mess! I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Can we use... Ah, okay. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Empty water jug. No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Okay. <clears throat> oh! 
But, um, where do I need it for? What do I need it for? Hmm. Hmm. Smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Sappleton? Horses. Rolling stomachs. Here they come. Do you think it could be them? Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I love <laughs> Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Old man? <gasps> Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's specialty. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. <gasps> Mind controlling fungus. <laughs> Ooh, spicy red swordfish, a personal favorite, a mouth watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega 3. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce will be <gasps> for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course are served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe lists on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Aww. Oh, do we have to? Oh, do we have to kill the pigeon? I hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. Oh, this is Monkey Island heaven. Oh. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head. Sooner or later. Is that a shoe? It's a wet boot. definitely want to go there. What's with the wet boot? Hmm? Hmm. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. wet boot no <laughs> no I think I have to be outside for gathering all the ingredients So why can't I pull the lever? Hmm. Sorry. Oh. 
Oh. That's the main ingredient for our Pigeon Supreme Amala Sauce Rosé. Now, let's finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Mm. Can I already give mm. it to them? Oh, who wanted mm. that? Oh, damn. I don't know. The old man? <gasps> bon appétit, monsieur. Oh. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry, they are used to pass out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Oh yeah, now I can get the get the rope. Aw, oh, I'm so sad about the pigeon. But she even apart like she doesn't want this. Poor Miss Appleton. God. Oh, there's a chili. The ceiling looks completely parched. We'll need to find it. A nice drink. Oh, well, we have a nice drink. Oh, there we go. Yay! Chili pepper. Okay, let's go. Let's go up. <laughs> the butt. Oh my god. How cute. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Did I say that? I. Zip. <laughs> oh yes, indeed. Captain Clint Clinton McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Um, so we don't want to go here anymore? Okay. Um, oh, the fisherman is... Oh, it's, he's still there. Oh, but we can't do anything. Okay. So what could we do with the knife? I mean, there's a... Isn't there a corpse? Just... Does anyone notice? What's this nonsense, Miss Appleton? That's not what the gentleman ordered. Aw. Focus, Miss Appleton. Focus. Hmm. I thought that would work. Joyous lobster in best place in town for a snack. Where can I get a hand? Someone lend me a hand. <laughs> or a fish. I would be equally happy with either of them. I love a little butt crack. That's adorable. So we can't know. Hmm. No, no, no. We've been. Hmm. Oh, oh. I know, I know. We have a knife. We can sever the fishtail. 
Oh, sorry, Miss Appleton, that it took me this long. That should have been obvious. I mean, I even watched that a couple months ago. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! The special sauce should be added at the end, Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Like this? Okay, perfect. Those are the main ingredients now. Let's finish the dish. I mean... Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. what the fungus wanted, right? Bon appetit. Oh, yes. A satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. <laughs> Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on. Laugh. Oh, poor Miss Appleton. Would she have her revenge, please? Because the, the narrator is a dick. Well, let's take that. <coughs> Can't do anything with the... Why is the lever there? That's making me maybe later. Skater. No. Uh, plump head. And one slimy tongue. Ew. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Just need your tongue. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Wait, what? A oh, one slimy tongue. So, like this? Oh, so it looks like a hand. Oh, we're really... We're really winging it here. Perfect, those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Whoop. I wonder what Miss Appleton... Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. I wonder whether she's actually like a super amazing cook and through circumstances she ended here. And she would actually be, like, amazing. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Aw, bye-bye, <laughs> birdie. <gasps> Go. <laughs> ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Aw, oh, she must do all this on her own? He's not hungry. What's with the chest? Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Oh! Wasn't there a lever? Oh. What? Why? Oh. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Oh, she has to do all of it on her own? What am I doing? What, what am I? So lazy. Dum de dum. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Oh. Ten fathoms deep and a row to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of- Oh, here you are. <laughs> it was the right melody, sorry. I tried my best. Oh now, the famous lever. Damn it. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Oh, yeah. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. It's a lot of waste, you know, a lot of the special sauce gets wasted. You see that on the floor, but that's, you can work that out later. Well done, Miss Appleton, you performed diligently.
Will she be happy? Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. Oh no! I forgot the ending! I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. Oh no! <laughs> no! Why did I... I completely... I think I... I just pushed the ending far away from my memory. Because this is so sad. You are my dearest friend. When those beasts dragged me out from the, our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I want it fair and square. I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in. There was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Oh, Miss Appleton, I wish you all the best. I wish you happiness. Oh. I really forgot the ending. <laughs> It's a beautiful little story. Also, that she even apologized to the pigeon. Because it Im implies, if you know the ending, it implies that she wouldn't have done it, like killed the pigeon, if it weren't for her partner's um, soul, basically. Aww. Thank you, Lauren and Joel, for proofreading. Thank you, Dieter, for the great font. <laughs> oh no! Octavi! <laughs> that is so mean! If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. I already do. But I will add the, li the links in the liner notes for you um, with the many, many different ways you can support Octavi. Because it's really... That, you know, this is the the type of games that I really genuinely love and enjoy because they give me so much. They are so much fun. They are dark, you know, they're very interesting because the stories are kind of cute, you know, kind of quirky, but in a lovely, I don't know, I just, I, f I love them. I feel them in my heart. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will give you all the information you need to get the game, um, to find more out about Octavi's work. And uh, Octavi's other games, um, and where to buy them or to sp to 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 play them, you know. That was beautiful. I hope you liked this as well, um, as much as I did. If you did, you can like this video. You can comment. What did you think of the story? Wait, can you see both my hands? There, there they are. Both my hands. You can comment, and you can. Damn, I don't have three. Like that would be funny. Damn, I should have. <laughs> I should have made like a pap mache third hand, and I'll be like whoop. Um, <laughs> and you can subscribe to my channel. That would be like imagine it a third hand, okay? And imagine a muppet hand, because while we're at it, we can add a little bit of fun to it. Um, yeah, you can you can do all that if you if you enjoyed this. Um. And you can also, first and foremost, which is the most important part, you know, take care of yourself, have a lovely day, and maybe see you soon. Bye-bye-bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.